Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Texas Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. We are really excited to have you participating in this event tonight. We've got some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Andy, and I'm going to be your facilitator. And before we get started, I just wanted to give a few housekeeping items here. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you. But you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type any questions that you have to our presenters at any time. Now, this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website for more sessions. And also, this presentation is being recorded, and that recording is going to be available at strivescan.com slash Texas. And now I'd like to turn things over to our first presenter, the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Thank you very much. Let me just start presenting my presentation. Uh, so good evening, everyone. My name is Jesus Buitron. I'm one of the representatives from uh, the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley uh, in deep South Texas. Uh, and today I get to talk to you a little bit about UTRGV and uh, some of the programs of study and uh, interesting things that we have available at our campus. I will mention that Noel Rangel uh, will be answering any questions that you might have in the chat. So feel free to ask any questions uh, if uh, you have any uh, at any given point in time. So at UTRGV, uh, we have over 32,000 students in our campus. Uh, we're actually one of the nine largest universities within the state of Texas. Uh, we are also the largest recipient of Texas grant funding, that is Texas grant financial or Texas financial aid, uh, which we are uh, very proud of. Uh, we're also uh, in the top three for best colleges for your money, meaning that we are not gonna uh, incur a lot of debt uh, for our students once uh, they graduate. And we're also a super Hispanic serving institution. Uh, the majority of our students are Hispanic. We are uh, located near the South Texas border. Uh, we actually have nine different campuses uh, within our area, two of the main campuses that I will talk about in just a bit. And we have over 75 uh, different uh, undergraduate programs. And uh, like I was mentioning, I, we are located in nine different areas within the RGV, but our two main campuses are located in Edinburgh and also in Bronzeville, Texas. Uh, I will mention that the Bronzeville campus is a little bit uh, more historic, this uh, sitting on a historical site, uh, which is the Fort Brown. And the Edinburgh campus is a little bit more modern uh, and they are about an hour away. Uh, but within our uh, programs of study, we do have our College of Business and Entrepreneurship. Uh, there's actually a, a lot of scholarship opportunities available for students in our College of Business, which uh, we renamed to Robert C. Vacker College of Business and Entrepreneurship. The Vacker family was uh, kind enough to give us $17 million for our students uh, to pursue a degree, uh, any degree within the College of Business. So that is one of the latest uh, scholarship allocations that we got. And we have traditional programs like accounting, finance, international business, hospitality, and tourism as well. Uh, we have our College of Education, our College of Fine Arts, if you're interested in the arts. Uh, fine Arts uh, does require auditions if you're wanting to play uh, an instrument, uh, so that is something to keep in mind. And of course, we also have our health profession programs, and uh, one of our uh, programs that actually became its own school is our School of Nursing. Uh, we do have 98% uh, of our students pass the NCLEX, NCLEX exam on their first try uh, once they take that uh, state exam. And um, our School of Social Work also quite popular that it became its own school. Uh, there is a separate application for both the School of Social Work and the School of Nursing, so that is something to keep in mind. And our College of Liberal Arts that house anything, houses everything from political science to uh, Mexican-American studies, uh, political science, which I already mentioned, psychology, and then also our College of Sciences, if you're interested in marine biology. We have a floating classroom 30 miles off South Padre Island where our students get to do research in our artificial coral reef. Uh, for the College of Science, we also have uh, anyone who wants to study the stars. Uh, we have uh, Stargate right next to Star, uh, Starbase, uh, which is a SpaceX facility. And uh, for our College of Engineering, the latest program that we added to that uh, particular college is cybersecurity. So a lot of new programs that came in within the last couple of years as we have grown uh, within our area. And of course, you can always graduate with honors if you're interested in UTRGV. Uh, and a little bit about our campus life, we have over 250 different student organizations from Greek life, uh, fraternity, sororities, uh, honor societies, special interest groups, and mentorships. 
Uh, we also have uh, campus activities and traditions. That is the burning of the letters, which is actually happening this Friday. Uh, that is what to, where you get to see all of those students who uh, have graduated through the years at UTRGV. And of course, we also have NCAA Division I sports. Uh, the only thing we don't currently have is football. Our students get to vote on if they want to bring football to our uh, teams uh, this November. So hopefully uh, they uh, vote on us having a football team soon. And uh, of course, we also have the rec center available for our students who want to uh, exercise. For UTRGV, very simple to apply. You go on goapplytexas.org. Uh, you do have to complete one of the essays, whichever one you want to complete. We need your high school transcript. We are test optional for this upcoming year. So if you do not have an ACT or SAT, that is completely fine. Uh, and also the uh, application, uh, there is no fee for it. So you can apply to UTRGV completely, absolutely free. Just give us your transcript, make sure that there is an essay. Um, and like I mentioned, we are test optional. It does not mean that you are gonna be automatically admitted to UTRGV. It only means that we can give you a decision with just, just your high school transcript, looking at your ranking and your GPA. And if you have any type of dual credit, any AP uh, scores, IB credits, PSAT, ACT plan, all of those are uh, things that you can do. Now for financial assistance at UTRGV, we have guaranteed tuition. From the moment you start at UTRGV, we lock lock in your tuition rate, meaning that your tuition is not going to go up in the four years that you are here at the institution. Also flat rate tuition, anything above 12 credit hours at UTRGV is completely absolutely free. So if you want to take additional credit hours, you definitely can do so um, with that flat rate tuition program. Of course, this is only for uh, Texas residents. And the latest program that we just uh, increased was the tuition advantage program. If your household income is $100,000 or less and uh, what you receive financial aid, whatever wasn't covered by financial aid will be covered by the university. You just have to make sure that you're admitted by March 1st and you have a financial aid application. And again, your um, household income is $100,000 or less. You're in the top 10% or you have a 19 on the ACT or you have a 1010 on the SAT. And that program will automatically pay the gap that was not covered by your financial aid. And the last thing that I will talk about is a brand new scholarship that just came along about a week and a half ago. It's our Luminary Scholarship. This particular scholarship will cover four years of your undergraduate education and two years of room and board. And also, if you, have to, if you want to go to graduate school here at UTRGV, we will also pay for your graduate school. Or if you want to go to the medical school route, you can actually get your medical school paid for it uh, in full. And that is valued at $137,000 here at UTRGV. And if you have any questions, uh, I will leave in this last uh, screen. You can meet with us virtually following that link, or you can send an email to recruitment at utrgv.edu. And of course you can um, put any questions in the chat box and we can definitely answer those questions for you. All right, thank you so much to the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Uh, next up, we've got Texas Women's University. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Erin Wimberly. I'm the Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admissions here at TWU. Um, so I'm going to go pretty quickly through our slides, but I think we're going to hit everything. And I have some team members in the chat, so if you want to make sure to chat throughout, you're welcome to do that and they will be able to help. Um, anytime you see a QR code, make sure you scan that because it will take you to different information. Um, but just let us know if you have questions. So this is just a little snapshot about us. We are Texas Women's University. We are the largest university system primarily for women. But as you can see, we are fully co-ed. We do have a 12% male population. Um, that is one of the biggest questions that we get. Um, but we are fully co-ed. Um, we are almost half, not only first gen students, but also half um, transfer students. So we do have a high population of that. Um, you can also see other numbers here if you wanna check us out on our website and things like that. But that's just a little snapshot of what we offer. We do have our three campuses. This is our next biggest question. Our main campus is in Denton. That's our primary campus where our housing is located in majority of our programs. But we do have our Dallas and Houston campus that are in the medical centers of those um, cities, which house our upper level nursing program, which is the last two years of that program, and then some of our graduate programs. Everyone else will either start at Denton or, and or finish at Denton. We do have five colleges. Um, we are most popular for our health sciences, but we are also known for our College of Education, as well as um, our other liberal arts programs that we offer. Um, we have a catalog on our website that has not only the degrees that we offer, but also the degree plans, so you can see what kinds of classes that you'll be taking throughout your time at TWU. 
We do have a housing requirement for TWU, which is good because that means you get that full well-rounded um, college experience. If you are under the age of 21, you have less than 60 college level credit hours and you live further than 40 miles away from TWU, we do ask that you fill out the housing application, but you could have different um, opportunities to live on campus depending on how many credit hours you do have. But most first year students are gonna live in Parliament Village. We do base our admissions on our uh, the percentile at your school and your and your test scores. So if you are in the top 25% of your class, you are automatically accepted to Texas Women's University. If you fall in that top 50, then we do look for a 1080 or above on the SAT or a 21 or above on the ACT. However, we are um, test optional at this point. So if your school does not rank or you do not submit your test scores, you can fall under that individual review, which just means our processing office will take a look at your application and make sure that you can get accepted based on GPA, um, what classes you're taking, what school you're going to, things like that. We also do, again, have transfer admissions as well. So if you graduate high school and then take at least 12 transferable college level credit hours, then you'll be considered a transfer student. If you have college level credit hours during your high school time, then you'll still be considered a first year student. You will just come in with, um, with credit hours with you. But um, if you graduate and then take classes, you will then be considered a transfer student. We do use the goapplytexas.org application for anything from summer 22 forward. Um, there is a $50 application fee, and we do ask that you submit your high school transcripts, your dual credit transcripts, and your test scores if you're submitting those. Um, the, we do have a fee waiver for those students that are eligible for the SAT or ACT fee waiver. You can send that to our processing office. This is a breakdown of what it costs to go to school at TWU for one academic year based on 15 credit hours per semester. Um, living in our most, uh, um, most expensive room rate um, and then overpaying for books and then some general expenses that could be flexible based on the student, which are looking at just around 23,000 a year. But we do accept financial aid through the FAFSA. Um, so that is actually open now and there is a priority deadline of January 15th. It's here, our school code is listed here. So if you do wanna make sure to add us as one of your 10 schools that you can add to the FAFSA, you're definitely welcome to submit that. We also have scholarships available. That application is open now. You can apply to scholarships after you've applied to the university. You do not have to wait to be accepted. Um, you can go ahead and start that process after you create your Pioneer portal. We do have a deadline for March 1st of our scholarships. Because we don't have a deadline for our admissions, we do kind of use this as a guideline uh, for our deadlines for our students. So we do wanna make sure that you are applied to the university and can start this application before March 1st to get the most out of your um, funding opportunities. So if you're looking to come to TWU, you will wanna start this process. Again, it's open now and uh, for fall 22, so you can start that process early um, and you can go ahead and start the process for applying to the university, applying to financial aid and scholarships. Our housing application is open if you've been accepted. Also, um, our orientation dates will be posted soon. If they're not yet, it is required for our first year students to attend orientation. So make sure you um, look into that if you are planning on coming to TWU. At any time you can connect with us, um, you can reach out to us. The QR code on, our, on this page right here is for our uh, visit us page. So you're welcome to vis come visit us anytime you'd like to and see all of our programs. Um, we do have one of the top nursing programs in the state. We also have uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, other health sciences, uh, as well as like you saw before the College of Business, um, in addition to our College of Professional Education with all of the different um, certifications that you can be eligible for. Um, and then also, uh, um, our College of Arts and Sciences that has a lot available through that as well. So that is just a little bit about TWU. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right. Thank you so much to Texas Women's University. And next up, we have Texas Tech University. All righty. Well, welcome, guys. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. <clears throat> awesome. Well, um, I think everything's good, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, we'll be going a little bit quickly, um, but uh, we'll definitely get, get through everything. So Texas Tech University, welcome, guys. We'll go over a little bit about Texas Tech University at first. So um, we are definitely booming. We're growing up here at Texas Tech University. We just passed 40,000 students, um, and 25% of students are actually first generation. So we have a lot of great resources for for first generation students. Um, and even with our exceedingly growth of students, we actually are still able to have a 19 to one student teacher, teacher um, ratio. And that just means that you get 
uh, a really great quality um, classroom in relationship with the professor who can mentor you and kind of help you out with classes and in your career path as well. Um, something I love is that we're actually ranked number nine in America for workforce preparation. Um, so it's really cool. You can go look up this list online and you see like Harvard, MIT, and then um, number nine is actually Texas Tech University because we are so focused on preparing you for life and preparing you for your job and whatever you want to do after college. So academic opportunities. We actually have over 150 different academic opportunities for our students. And um, <clears throat> that's great for you because that means that even if you don't know what exactly you wanna do, Texas Tech will be able to um, help you figure that out and switch majors if you need to. Um, but here are all of our schools. We actually have a law school as well. Um, we have a hospital on campus. And so anything healthcare related, um, Texas Tech is kind of known for and also engineering and business. Um, those three are kind of our big ones for sure, but we have plenty of options for you to choose from. And then uh, life as a Red Raider. So let's talk a little bit about campus life. So um, we have over 550 different student organizations. So that means anything you're interested in, there's already people waiting for you to come to campus and do it with them. Um, it's a really exciting time. And part of the reason why is because we do require students to live on campus, but we have 19 different resident halls for you to choose from. So anywhere um, like price range and location, um, those are all up to you um, and what you wanna do. We have 30 different dining venues. Some of my favorites are Starbucks and Chick-fil-A. Uh, a huge rec center. We actually have the longest lazy river on a campus um, in America, which is really great. And we are really big on spirit and tradition and um, watching sports altogether. So admissions and affordability. So admissions, one big thing and one difference between um, other universities and Texas Tech is that you actually don't have to send in your transcript at first. When you first apply, go ahead, send in your application, and then you'll actually go to our um, your profile with, with us, the Raider Connect, and you'll actually um, input and in, put in your um, <clears throat> uh, grades yourself. And so definitely have your transcript up on the computer and so you copy them correctly, but this gives you more control of like making sure that um, as soon as you send an application, you can go ahead and fill out your grades and your application will be complete and ready for review. We are test optional, um, so keep that in mind too for this upcoming year. Uh, here are some of our admissions. We do kind of look at your class rank and test scores. And this, this graph or this table that you see is actually just for automatic admission. So you can go ahead and look in this online as well. Um, and this will give you a good look at uh, where you are, where you stand. And once again, if you don't send in your test scores, that's okay. Or if you don't get in automatically, that's okay. Because that is when we go in and we just look at your application holistically and kind of review it. So these are some things that we look at. Um, academic course selection, any rigor you do, um, extracurriculars. If you send in a test score, we will look at that as well. And if you don't, that is okay. But make sure you do like the extra steps for the essay letters of recommendation as well. So um, we are definitely huge on giving you as much scholarships as you can, as we can. Um, over 70% of our students or close to 70% of our students actually get some kind of financial aid or scholarship. And this is a really big one, especially if you're a Texas um, resident, is that if your family income is, uh, or gross income is below 65 or less, you can actually get your tuition paid for. Now you still have to pay for housing, like if you buy a new laptop and books and everything, but um, that's a really, really big one for sure is your tuition is usually your biggest expense. And so being able to have that covered by Texas Tech is really great. Um, so definitely get on our mailing list. That's just a little bit about us. We would love, love for you to come visit Texas Tech. It is a gorgeous campus. We actually have the largest campus um, in America. And so that just means it's really spaced out and organized, really nice. We actually have those Lime scooters as well, which is my favorite part of campus. But go, go ahead, scan the QR code, get connected with us. Um, and thank you very much. All right, well, thank you so much to Texas Tech. Uh, next up, we've got St. Mary's University. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna share my screen very quickly. It takes a minute. <laughs> Here. 
here it is. Awesome. So my name is Roy De Los Santos. A bit about me. Um, I am a St. Mary's alum. I graduated in 2020. My colleague Karina Nanez is also on the call, who is also a St. Mary's alum. So if you have any questions at all, please let us know. But we're going to jump right into it. So first thing to know about St. Mary's University is that we're located in San, San Antonio, Texas. And on this slide, you can see different photos from San Antonio. Something about San Antonio, we are the um, most visited city in Texas the seventh largest city in the United States and the second largest in Texas. Um, and I love San Antonio. San Antonio is very rich in culture and diversity. Um, so yeah, moving on, St. Mary's University at a glance. We are a four-year private Catholic Marianist liberal arts university, and that is a mouthful, uh, but I'll get into all of that in a second. Uh, we are the first Catholic university in Texas and southwestern United States. We are a Hispanic serving institute, meaning the majority of the students who come to St. Mary's identify as Hispanic. Um, our total enrollment is around 3,500 and our undergraduate enrollment is around 2,300. So we are on the smaller side, um, but that just means that there's a lot of space for relationship building. You will definitely know um, your professors and the students in your classes. And that is one of my favorite parts about coming to St. Mary's. Um, something else I wanted to mention, we were founded in 1852 and we have two sister schools, one in Dayton, Ohio, and the other in Honolulu, Hawaii. Moving on, um, at the core of our institutional mission, we have five Marianist characteristics um, that make us who we are. So I'm going to talk about them very quickly because they are important. Um, they're an important part to who we are at St. Mary's. Our first is educating for formation in faith. Our second is educating in family spirit. Our third is uh, educating for service, justice, peace, and integrity of creation. And our fourth is providing integral quality education. And our fifth is um, educating for adaptation and change. And I'm talking about these because they are very important to who we are. And we believe that by following this mission, our students experience a very unique form of education that educates the whole person, mind, spirit, and body. Moving on, we have an average class size of 16 students. Yes, we are very small. Um, but like I said, that allows for a lot of relationships to be made. 94% of the professors here on campus hold a terminal degree. We have an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio here on campus. 42% of the students on campus identify as male, 58 identify as female. And we have 11 NCAA Division II teams and our newest is eSports. We have three academic schools here at St. Mary's. And if, if you actually scan the QR code, at the bottom right hand corner, you can, um, it'll send you to a link of all of our majors, but I'm going to talk about our academic schools very quickly. Our first is our School of Science, Engineering and Technology that is ABET accredited. Our second is our College of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences. And our third is our Grihi School of Business that is AACSB accredited. And again, you can scan that QR code um, for a list of all of our majors. Moving on to application requirements. Um, something to mention about St. Mary's is that we're the first test-free college in Texas. We are not test optional, we are test-free, meaning that we do not want to see your test scores. We believe that you are more than a test score, um, so we've moved on to a more holistic um, review. The only things that we will need for your application is the application itself and that official high school transcript, um, but I always encourage students to send in those optional materials as well like your personal statement, your letter of recommendation, your resume and additional writing samples. That helps us get to know you. Um, and that's always a good thing. You can apply to St. Mary's through our St. Mary's website, through Apply Texas, through the Common App and through Coalition. Something else I wanted to mention is that every student, um, when they apply, they are automatically considered for academic scholarship. And that ranges anywhere from 14 to $24,000 a year. Ways to connect with us, we offer on-campus tours, live guided campus tours, virtual information sessions, and phone or video chats. So if you scan that QR code, it'll send you to a link um, with ways to stay connected with us. And of course, um, you can always reach out to myself or my colleague Karina. We will um, have our emails in the chat as well. And this is our Office of Undergraduate Admission Contact Information, ways to stay connected with us through Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. And then we have our contact info at the bottom of that slide. Um, so yes, like I said, I went through that really quickly, but if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, something about St. Mary's that I wanted to mention as well is that we are a big community here. Um, 
we care about the well-being of all of our students um, and it's like a big family so if you have any questions um, let us know and thank you for listening to me present all right thank you so much to saint mary's university and next up we have san jacinto college Hello everyone, I'm happy to be here. My name is Stephanie Funderberg and I am gonna talk with you guys a little bit about San Jacinto College. Um, so not sure where you guys are who are watching this, but um, I'm gonna share my screen so I can show you a map of where San Jacinto College is um, and just tell you a little bit about us. So um, there we go. So a little bit about San Jacinto College, we were founded in 1961, so we are turning 60 years old this year. Uh, in 2021, we were named as an Aspen Institute finalist with distinction, placing us in the top five community colleges from across the United States. Um, so out of 1,100 community colleges total, we are the third largest community college in the Houston area and the eighth largest in the state of Texas. And we currently have five campus locations. So if you're looking at that map, Houston is gonna be more towards the left. So we're primarily on the east side of Houston, um, but we do have those five campus locations. So we do have a pretty easy step to enroll here at San Jacinto College. First step is to do the free application through Apply Texas. And then we do not require the SAT or ACT for admission purposes. However, if you have taken that, you might be eligible to exempt out of taking the TSI, which is what we ask our students. But there is no minimum score that you need to meet in order to be admitted to San Jacinto College. Then like many of my Texas colleagues, uh, you do have to submit that meningitis vaccination record. That is a state requirement. And we'll also need your final high school transcript. Now we do also ask our students to take new student orientation and the survey, just so that way you get to meet your uh, fellow colleagues and students um, and learn a little bit more about San Jack. You'll do an advising session with your educational planner to make sure you're on the right track. And don't forget, there are uh, other things that you'll need like your parking permit and your student ID. So at San Jacinto College, we, our tuition structure is based on whether you are an in-district student, meaning you're living in an area where you pay taxes to San Jack, or if you're an out of district student, meaning you're outside of that taxing area. But you can see that breakdown and we do have it in part time. So that's about two classes or full time, which is about four classes. So you can see that that's a really affordable rate for our students. We're about one third the cost of a university. But in addition to that, we do have a variety of ways that students can get assistance in paying for college. So we do offer um, assistance through financial aid, through the FAFSA or TASFA, but also through our own scholarships. And then don't forget that there are veteran benefits as well as foster care benefits. Um, and San Jacinto College is really interesting because we offer open book classes where those classes are um, offer the textbooks at a reduced rate or there's a small fee for the class, but then you receive all of your course materials electronically. And we do absolutely offer installment payment plans to break up that cost of tuition. We have more than 200 degree and certificate options over eight different areas of studies. And I would say some of the programs that St. Jacinto College is most well known for would be our maritime transportation, our petrochem um, and instrumentation. We also have a great engineering program as well as a nursing. And we do offer a RN to BSN trans transition pathway. Um, but if you're interested in a specific program, just reach out to me in the chat and I will also be leaving contact information there. But you're not giving up uh, a college experience by coming to San Jacinto College. I think that's one thing I hear a lot because we have a very active campus life. We have a variety of different student organizations, everything from student government to anime club, as well as an honors program, a first gen mentor club. We have a variety of free events and activities that happen through our student engagement office, as well as fine arts performances, a game room, rec sports, fitness centers, and we have cosmetology programs on two of our campuses, and they offer a, a spa and salon where you can get discounted um, services like manicures and pedicures and even haircuts. 
So if you're interested in learning more about San Jacinto College, we'd love to hear from you. Um, we are on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I've also included our um, student recruitment at sjcd.edu, and I'll put that in the chat. But we do also have a web page for my office, which is Outreach and Recruitment, as well as an upcoming events page. So if you're interested, definitely check us out. Um, we're a fun organization and an institution to become a part of, and we'd love you to join our Sanjack fam. Thanks for your time. All right. Thank you so much to San Jacinto College. And next up, we have Sam Houston State University. All right. Can you guys hear me? Good? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Yep. Okay, perfect. All right. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, started my timer. So, um, I just wanted to welcome you guys. Uh, welcome, Bearcats. Um, my name is Ashley Oops, Bogdan. Actually, sorry, excuse me. You may want to switch your. Um, oh, can you display? see that? I'm yep. so sorry. <laughs> nope, you're good. There you go. All right, here we go. Let's start. Oh, you're, not, you're not, I can't see your screen Let's anymore. See what's happening? Of course, it would be me. Um, All right, we got you. There it is. Okay. Can you guys see it now? Um, it's coming up. All there right. Perfect. All right. So sorry about that. Okay. So okay. let me just go ahead and introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ashley Bobineau. I'm one of the admissions counselors for St. Houston State University. So I'm going to quickly go over our presentation. Um, so really quickly, um, Sam Houston State was actually founded in 1879 as one of the first educational institutions um, in the South. Um, but of course, we've transitioned to more of a criminal justice um, campus. Um, uh, we are number one in student placement in the state of Texas for workforce. So that means that um, once you graduate, uh, you'll get job placement within uh, the first six months that you graduate. Um, our student to faculty ratio is 24 to one, which means your biggest classes are gonna be like your freshman year when you're taking all your basics. And then as you progress into your major, they get smaller, your classes will become smaller. And that's a great feel because you want your professors to know you by your face and your name. Um, we have actually grown. So we currently have about 22,000 students on our campus um, representing 70 countries. Um, we are committed to diversity. Um, we are actually one of the, most diverse campuses uh, around uh, the Houston area, I should say, um, but we're about two hours away outside of Houston. So I'm gonna go over a couple of the college's programs and majors um, really quickly. Uh, first one is our College of Arts and Media. That is basically if you're interested in broadcasting, communi uh, mass communication or things like that. The best thing about this uh, campus, uh, this college is that you guys actually have your own dorm, which is called Belvin. So nobody else in the other majors will be able to actually live in this dorm, except for you guys, because in the basement you have where you can do, do all of your arts, uh, practice if you're dancing, practice your broadcasting, filming, and production. The next one is going to be our College of Business. Um, we have over a dozen business majors from accounting, um, international business, um, if you want to start your own business, business entrepreneurship, which is kind of like the thing these days. Um, we have our professors um, that actually have started businesses or work outside of teaching who actually run their own business. The next one is going to be our criminal justice uh, college. This is kind of like the one we are actually known for. Um, we are ranked number one in the state of Texas for this. Uh, we have anywhere from forensics, chemistry, forensic psychology, criminology, victim studies. Um, we offer bachelor's, master's, as well as PhD levels. Um, we are the only school in the state of Texas that actually has a body farm. So when you're actually in grad school, you actually get to go work in a undisclosed location with donated bodies that are donated by families, kind of set up in an actual crime scene and be able to run test studies on that. Um, the next one is our number two um, major is our coll um, College of Education. Basically, you get a bachelor's in education, and then you'll be able to get certified if you're wanting to work in the elementary, middle school, or high school level. You'll be able to get cer certified um, on that. Um, we have 100% of our education majors get a job right on the spot because we are affiliated with a lot of the school districts around the state of Texas. 
Our next one is our College of Health Sciences. So if you're interested in pre-physical therapy, athletic training, um, if you're wanting to become a nurse, we have that program. Um, for nursing, you'll do two years in Huntsville, and then you will trans, uh, trans, uh, trans, uh, go on, sorry, to the Woodlands area where you will finish out your last two years, your junior and senior year of your nursing program. And um, we have our College of Social Sciences. And that is if you are interested in wanting to become a lawyer. So um, we have our pre-law majors who major in political science. If you're wanting to major in any type of foreign language, English, things like that, that would, this would be the college for you. Um, we have where our students are actually able to um, prepare for their LSATs. And we have about 93% of our passing rate where on a first try they um, get accepted into law school. The last one is our co-set, which is our College of Science and Engineering Technology. So if any of those other majors did not um, interest you, we have biomedical sciences, physics, chemistry, construction management, um, cybersecurity, um, software engineering, mechanical engineering. Um, this would be the major for you. Um, animal sciences, um, kind of like the pre-vet, um, we did get a million dollar bond where they're actually going to revamp our farm and that will be open in uh, next year in 2022. And then we have a medical school. This is on, going on our year two, our osteopathic medicine. So once you get your four year undergrad and if you're looking to go into osteopathic medicine, we are located in Conroe. Um, this is kind of like a holistic uh, view if that's the route that you're wanting to go back into your rural hometown areas to help with that. Um, kind of moving on to campus life, um, we have 14 residence halls. We're actually building one, so it would be actually open in 2022. Um, we have rec sports, anywhere from clinics, workshops, um, equipment rental, challenging uh, courses. Uh, we have over 17 actual sports. Um, next year, we're actually going to be moving to a bigger conference, which is the WAC conference. So we're going to get a lot more exposure out to our community. Uh, out to our communities. Um, I will mention that our football team did win the national championship this past spring. So hopefully this year we'll be able to do that. Um, we do have some study abroad, um, study abroad uh, places that you guys will be able to go. We do a lot of community services. Um, we have over uh, 313 student organizations. Um, our tuition is about $18,000 a year. Uh, so we do offer an academic scholarship. Uh, we have over 650 scholarships um, that for any of our 90 majors that we have. Um, we do actually have a hospital on our campus, so you don't have to go to the hospital if anything happens. You can see the doctor. We have a dentist. We have a pharmacy on campus. Um, and pretty much, I'm going to wrap that up. Um, I will say that we are test optional. So if you take a look here really quickly, based off of your GPA, is the minimum of your ACT and SAT right there. So that's pretty much it, because I saw Andy. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much to Sam Houston State University. Um, and that was actually our, our final presenter today, but we do have a little bit of time left over. So I would like to invite all of our presenters to go ahead and turn their cameras back on so we can do a little Q&A session here. So uh, the first question that I would like to ask all of you is what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And uh, we'll go ahead and start with University of Texas Rio Grande Valley again. Uh, so for the uh, college search process, uh, make sure that you visit campuses. Uh, many times uh, we see something on brochures, we really don't know what the campus feels like until we get there and it might already be the first day of class. Uh, we tend to see in our world uh, students who decide to come back uh, even the first week of classes uh, to join a different campus because they never really uh, went to the campus to get the feel uh, of the campus. Uh, so it is also very important if you get the opportunity to go to a preview day uh, that you do so, so that way you can get a feel for the campus that you're applying for. So in our area, we have a lot of students who unfortunately don't get the opportunity to go and explore other campuses. So we always encourage students to go and visit the campus. So that, again, they can get a feel of the campus and see if it's a fit for them. Because at the end of the day, uh, you have to feel comfortable where uh, you are going. And how about Texas Women's University? 
I would definitely agree with that. Um, definitely visit, um, definitely look at um, beyond the name. Make sure you're also looking to make sure that the school has the program that you want um, because everybody wants to go to school A, but if school A doesn't have your program, then why are you gonna go there, right? So just make sure you know what programs are offered. Um, and then also, if you know already that you're gonna go into grad school, make sure you know what programs are offered at those schools in relation to that graduate program. Can going to that undergrad school get you into that graduate program or is it more beneficial to go somewhere else? So just thinking of those future goals is that one of the good ways and, and for sure going to the campus. I would say um, reach out to your admission counselors. Um, usually every school will have admission counselors for where you live, your region. Um, and so me specifically, I'm for some of the Houston area. And so uh, our job as admission counselors is to help you with the process, help you um, know about different scholarships, when to apply the different deadlines, all of that stuff. And so we are here for you and we are here to help guide you through this entire process because it can be very confusing. So reach out and find your admission counselors for whichever schools you, get, you are thinking of. And uh, how about St. Mary's University? Uh, I'll go ahead and answer this question. I think when it comes to choosing college, I would have to agree with going to visit and making sure that you feel comfortable and at home at your university. You're making a four-year commitment and above all other things, whatever other people tell you, where friends are going, where family wants you to go, you need to be happy and comfortable at that university and you should really see yourself spending time on campus, off of campus, enjoying the classes, making friends there. And if you're missing one or all of those things, then that's not the college for you. And of course I'm biased. I would like for you to pick my university, but if it happens to be Texas Tech, I'm not gonna be upset. I will wish you well. Uh, so I would say that is what I would consider the most. So one of my favorite things that I, I tell to students of all ages is that college is not a cookie cutter. So what works for you is not necessarily what's going to work for your friends. And I know that that is a terrifying process of, I just want to go where my friends are going. But remember that, like so many of my colleagues have said, you want to make sure that wherever you go, whether it's, you know, away to Texas Tech or the Texas Rio Grande Valley or um, Sam Houston or, you know, any of these other wonderful universities or colleges across the state of Texas, you want to make sure it's the right fit for you and what your dreams are. So even though it can be scary, make sure that you find that path that's right for you and don't be afraid to ask our questions. And how about Sam Houston State University? All right, um, I kind of agree with Stephanie. Um, I used to, before I became an admissions counselor, I actually taught in high school. So I taught ninth grade biology. And so like the first day I would always tell the students you have four years and then once you're out of high school, you're gonna have to figure out what you're gonna do with your life. So those four years are gonna count. You need to make sure you join clubs and see what you're interested in. And then kind of have like 10 schools your freshman year, seven schools like your sophomore year, then like six, five to six your junior year, and then they have your top three that by your, soft, your senior year so you can go visit, so you can ask questions. So that way you know what you're getting yourself into. And I know I've talked to a lot of students about, well, my parents want me to do this. But at the end of the day, it's you that is going to be getting up at eight o'clock in the morning, going to class, trying to figure out what you're wanting to do with your life. So I just kind of like, that's the thing you have to think about. And I know sometimes you can be persuaded and things like that, but you go for what you're passionate in. Awesome. Thank you. A lot of really, really good advice there. I appreciate it. And we've actually kind of hit the end of our session today, unfortunately, but I do want to say thank you to all of our uh, panelists today for sharing information about their school. Also, thanks to all of you for joining us today. Uh, when you close this window, there is going to be a link to a very quick five question survey, and we'd appreciate any feedback you could provide. Uh, we also encourage you to check back at the schedule and sign up for more sessions as well tonight. 
And again, you will be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash Texas. Thanks and uh, have a good evening, everybody.